Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I was actually having such a such a nice uh, Friday that I almost forgot about Guild Wars. So, um, yeah, here we are. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. Where we, we are definitely in top 100, so that's cool, 78. Uh, I looked like we were going to lose last one, but we actually ended up winning that one, uh, which was pretty close considering... Uh, yeah, considering it looked like we were about to lose, uh, but somehow we pulled it out. <laughs> uh, so that so that's cool. Um, let's see. Uh, so let's take a look at ours here. See how we how we've been doing on defense. So no one's attacked us. So as always, that could either be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, could just mean that uh, these defense this defense here looks uh, what's the word? It looks uh, intimidating, I guess. Uh, it looks annoying to fight against. Um, or, you know, it just could be that they haven't used up enough of their attacks yet. So let's go take a look over here again. Uh, I don't have to remember the guild name because I'm just going to put gibberish there because that's all I see there. Um, so they have 16 left and we have 18 left. So it's not a whole lot. It's actually, wait, no, they have 27. There you go. I was looking at the, uh, up here. So I have 27 left. Um, what's well, like considerably less than a quarter. Or considerably more than a quarter. Maybe like a third of their attack, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, 621, so yeah, it's almost a third. Um, a third left. Uh, I mean, we still might get attacked, but hopefully we'll, we'll take a look. Um, next Guild Wars, see how we did. Um, so today, we're not going to hit that, because that's already been destroyed. We're not going to hit that, because that's already been destroyed. Uh, I guess we'll hit this. Take a look at what we're, we're going up against here. Um, okay, so let's see who did what against them. Uh, one day ago, two days ago. I think this is our team, so maybe, I think. Four losses, one win. So so they've been attacked, f what, four, five, six, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven here. So this is our team, yeah. So this is one day ago. This is, uh, Wednesday um, So let's see these guys hit it and they did fine sci-fi guy I think is It's kind of strange that he didn't win so I'm kind of now I'm kind of concerned about why he didn't uh, Octavian one D071 uh, One he lost the top one so this, so this is look, looks kind of interesting. Um, I guess uh, let's just get in there this is probably not a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so this top one, uh, we're sort of, it's kind of interesting to me, like, R Riolu basically kind of mandates that you're running g because g is the only one who can tank his hits. Uh, so I, I always find that kind of interesting. Um, We need enough damage to, to kill all three of them here. Um, I really need to get my... What's her name? Uh, you know the girl. Um, I can't remember her name anymore. She should be down here somewhere. Uh, ML Akades. Yeah, ML Akades. Because she has a revive. And she's... The reason you can't run... Um, like... She's the only revive that uh doesn't have to worry about the, the the dark users so she would be perfect here right because i don't have to worry about him attacking her uh and then she'll attack her and then you know obviously he's gonna attack whoever um but yeah i don't know i just it, it's interesting uh i think maybe like this team looks kind of interesting to me but i don't think she's gonna have enough damage to wipe out all three of them especially with her revive uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, you kind of need, um, like, you can't bring Maid Chloe and you can't bring um, Ruel because they can both get, like, basically one shot by uh, Riolu. Uh, and they also make it harder to bait with g -perg because it's another light unit, so they're going to be kind of distracted by that. Are we getting that stuff anymore? No, we're not. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, Shooting Star Katie's kind of helps with that. So I really need, need to six star her and get her ready to go. I just need another Reviver that isn't light. Basically, I need another Soul Weaver that's good that isn't light, because the two main Soul Weavers I was using before were both Ruel and uh, DJ Basar. 
But if if Ruel can get one shot by Riolu, then DJ Basar can also. Well, I mean, he's definitely getting one shot. Um, so I've been kind of discouraged from using them lately, just for that main reason that uh, Riolus have been kind of infesting this entire game. So that's something to consider. Uh, actually, let's see. I might bring you up here. How's that look? This could theoretically work if. Uh, what are you at? Is she on Abyssal Crown? She might be on Abyssal Crown. This could theoretically work, uh, but it depends on the timing. I don't have healing, so I really need to get the timing down right on this. Um, yeah, this isn't going to work. Uh, do I have... I need to give her the... Um, What's my Dizzy's artifact here? Uh, it's not Ayala's. I just don't know what it is. Uh, because Ayala's is on Zerato. Unless it's not. Yeah, it's, she's got Abyssal Crown. Um, do I want to take off the Abyssal Crown? I mean, it's free unequipped, so it's not like that big a deal, but... Do I want to run it without it? Yeah. Let's run it without that and go get the, uh... The, oh, shit. Go get the uh, Ayelas from Zerato. I don't think I don't think I actually think Zerato has it because I think I was farming with him and I think he has the uh, a different artifact. Yeah, he's got that. Uh, so I, I went all the way down here for no reason. Uh, and Dizzy might not actually be in this same position anymore. Uh, Dizzy no longer has an artifact, right? Right, this this thing. I'm not sure. Does this thing have like an organization thing? No, that was a that was a nightmare. Um. Uh, let's go take a look at her stats. <laughs> don't don't uh, don't judge my dizzy too hard. She's kind of wearing gear that's not optimal. I've been meaning to to build her up better, but um, yeah, it's not been going very well. Uh, she needs a lot of speed and a lot of effectiveness, which I'm missing. And she's got way too much crit chance for some reason. Like fifty percent is not that much, but as you can see, I've got a crit set. Uh, and it's just like a bunch of random like crit stats on, on stuff. This is a pretty nice ring. Um, uh, like like this. It's like, well, what's this crit chance here? Uh, but yeah, so... Um, we'll just have to go in with her like that. Hopefully she does some damage. Um, let's go back over here. To the bottom one, I think I am taking ML Crow down there. Uh, just because he should be doing decent damage. Uh, up here, let's take so let's take G Perg. Uh, this preparation is taking a little longer than usual, but uh, that, that's that's okay. <sighs> Actually, yeah, that's, that's this is kind of hard, right? Because like this would be a pretty good combo, right? Like her, uh, who's the other one, and her. Because theoretically, like, Akades won't get one shot by him. Hopefully not, right? Like, he can make her tanky enough so she doesn't get one shot. Um, if he, like, the thing I'm concerned about is that him S3 has S2 triggering and then hitting someone that's not G-Perg, right? Because he'll hit G-Perg and that's fine. But, like, he might hit her. Um, and then that, that'll be fine because I can just revive her. Right? Or he might hit her and hopefully she can survive that. Or he might hit him and he'll probably survive that, right? That's like the main concern. So, uh, this is kind of the team I need to work on in terms of like getting more uh, dealing with our, with him when I need more damage. Um, yeah, I think what I might end up doing though, like for because I need more damage, obviously, maybe running like uh, Arbiter Vildred here, and then just kind of praying for the best. And then I need, a, I guess, a healer. Uh, I've been using my main healer these days. Has been uh, obviously that's kind of, which is kind of one of the reasons why um, a Momo has been one of my main healers these days. Is because like he's there, and I can't really sustain like what he's gonna do to me. Um, so that's kind of what's up with that. 
Uh, down here, I think I'm going to just run Ruel. I don't need the healing she's outputting, per se. I, I don't need, like, the... Well, what I don't need is, like, the revival, right? Uh, the healing is, is going to be fine, but I don't need the revival just because none of these should die. But they do need some healing because otherwise, like, they can easily tip over and they can die. Um... Funnily enough, unfortunately, while my DJ Vassar finally, he's he's at 240 speed now, uh, which is better than he used to be, like 220 something. Uh, but he's 240 speed. Uh, but I, I haven't had a whole lot of reason to use him. There's not a whole lot he can go into because in certain situations where I'd want to bring DJ Vassar, I also want to bring him, and I'm overlapping immunities. Uh, but thanks to Last Rider Crow's immunity, it leaves me open to try uh, different healers. And one of the different healers that I, I've been thinking about uh, wanting to run now is both Destina and, uh, if I can find her, is she even here? Well, for one, like I said, Destina. Destina. Uh, Destina and, uh, do I have her here? Maybe I skipped over her probably because I'm not paying attention. Doris looks pretty interesting too, but that's, a, that's another, it's for another day. Uh, I guess I lost her. She's probably in the box somewhere. Uh, but Acades, right? Because Acades can give an immunity buff, which is great. Her S2 heal, uh, heals and clean and full cleanses, and it kind of comes up pretty fast. So him combined with hit her combined with his immunity uh, can get up a pretty good loop of just cleansing and having immunity up all the time. Um, because originally, right, I put a lot of stress on my on my healer, which is DJ Basar, because he does cleanse and immunity, and I just kind of leave it all up to him. But now, I, now that I have a unit that's good and can separate those tasks, like ML Crow, uh, I can bring a healer that doesn't necessarily have immunity built in and can just worry about cleansing, which Akades is one of the better, one of the more premier uh, for that, which also does not consider the fact, it's also like, it's kind of, that's even before mentioning the fact that Akades has a um, one turn cooldown reduction on her S2, which is helpful for both Crow and anyone else I might want to bring in there. So it's either helpful for Crow, or I can use it on her, and it's helpful for her to get her S3 up again. Uh, so all in all, just uh, regular Akades looks pretty interesting these days. Um, in addition to Shooting Star Katie, so I really, you know, kind of got to worry about building both of them. Uh, they might be my next uh, my next six stars. Uh, Destina, unfortunately, like she, she's probably one of the better healers out there, but I don't have the, the counter gear to make her work because she doesn't need a, well, she doesn't need it, she, but she does really good with a counter set, and I don't really have the kind of gear she needs to uh, be effective with that. So uh, I think a Katie's going to be easier because I've been farming a lot of uh, Wyvern, so I got a lot of gear that I can uh, think about running on her. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, that's sort of uh, going off about stuff that's not too important. But uh, down here, <sighs> this looks like a lot of damage coming out of these guys, and I don't have any damage reduction here, right? So it's going to be kind of hard to deal with, but let's just see what happens, I guess. Um, Riolus are always going to be you know pretty fast, like 220 to 240 speed. Um k is generally kind of fast. The good thing is that Riolu is always going to be faster than k because he benefits more from the speed than the k does. Um, and that means that whenever you take uh, him into baiting situations like this... Oh, I probably should have S3 there. Whenever you take uh, him into baiting situations like this with k and uh, uh, Riolu, Riolu will, will, will hit him hard enough to get him low so that... Kron is now not targeting him. He's targeting him with his S3. So we're we're basically the best case scenario, right? Because now with his S3, hopefully I can pop his uh, immortality. He'll S3 him and not do very much, and then he could just die next turn, and we're focused on these two. And then, of course, like we have to worry about her healing. But let's kind of see what the, what our S3 does here. Perfect. Uh, that couldn't have gone any better, honestly. Um, So she's going to revive the, uh, let's do this. So basically, k dead. Hopefully she revives k because that's going to be hilarious. Um, come on, you can do it. I know you do. Uh, the, the reason, yeah, k will be a lot easier to deal with because his immortality is parked and I can just kill him again. Um, and no one's going to die from his S1. So fortunately, we, we got the, uh, the one we weren't supposed to get. So let's, uh, let's heal you up. Uh, I get to S3 again, which is just perfect. And I got the greater attack buff for two turns, which is even better. 
Uh, let's heal uh, Jeeperg up here a little bit. Let's hit you. So, oh, she's gonna heal herself, yeah. So fortunately, uh, Kron's uh, S or uh, what's his name? Arbor's S. Uh, his revive has not triggered yet. I keep like messing that up. His, his revive hasn't triggered yet. So if uh, this he decides to S3 or S2, which he will uh, now that uh, it's Arbiter's turn again. Oh, I hit him. Cool. Perfect. He's dead again. Uh, this is going <laughs> better than I could have hoped. This is ridiculous how how idiotically uh, easy this is going. This is and this is kind of like one of the things with uh, with him specifically right with uh what's his name i know his name Ugh, the guy riolu right this is kind of one of the problems with him specifically is that he's very luck based right like you can i mean on the one hand you can obviously there's a chance that he like he won't die because he keeps dodging but a lot of times it's just like honestly it's never it's not going to come up the way you want it so he's not going to dodge he's just going to die uh we didn't get the thing this time and she's going to revive yep Okay, well, at least she's dead, and hopefully she revives the K-Ron, <laughs> please. If it's the uh, Riolu again, I'm going to be pretty pissed, because uh, to, to get that target twice would be kind of dumb. Uh, so let's heal you, so that K-Ron... Well, K-Ron's going to AoE, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, so let's hit you. Let's just kill her, make sure she dies, because her S2 should be up now, yeah. Come on, sleep him, sleep him. You know you want to. No! Oh, he didn't take damage. Perfect. <laughs> he can't take damage from this. Optimal. Ideal is what I want to say. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Um, yeah, this is this is this is actually just like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I can't believe this is, this is going as well as it is. Um, and then we get to just do this uh, for fun, right? Let's get the descending blade going. Perfect. Uh, I think, uh, you know, basically that just went as anticipated. Um, I kind of hoped that Arbor would do enough damage um, through all of the... Uh... So this is perfect. Uh, one of the things that I'm really realizing is I need more speed on the ML crowd because uh, I get outsped by like 220 speed uh, ML CCs. And I feel like people are going to start increasing their speed on their ML CCs specifically to counter the fact that Crow just comes in with his S3. Cause you can basically make that S3 null and void by, um, <laughs> obviously by her skill nullifier. Uh, that's kind of what it does. Um, but yeah, I, I found I found that kind of interesting. Uh, what does she have? Does she have violets? Talisman? I think she does. That's pretty crazy. Um, it's not like the the worst thing you could run on her, but it's very interesting nonetheless. Yeah, so that's one. A that's three AOEs back to back already. Um, and this is why I, I feel like, like I said, this is why I feel. Look, that's two. He's gonna. He's about to go again right now. Let's uh. Let's hit you. I really need to start getting these skill nullifiers off of everybody else. Oh oh oh. Ah, uh, then the S two. Oh, yep. And he got hit with that. That's perfect. Let's get your skill nullifier off. And he's, he got counter. Okay, so that's good. As long as he's countering. Oh well. There we go. Perfect. Even better. Um. Okay, so basically this will heal him up. So now fallen CC will target. Uh. Let's see you get your skill nullifier off. Basically, MLCC will not target uh, Ruel. Uh, we'll use you to kill somebody. Hopefully, eight. No, we're not gonna kill him, but. Uh, can do some decent damage to him. Please don't miss. We need all the damage we can get here, and he missed. That's fine. Um, the good thing about this is that we have a healer, so all our damage is permanent, where theirs is not. Uh, except for on uh, obviously on her, because she has life steal. Okay, so now we get to S three with you. So that's that's good. So this is kind of what I what I talked about before crowd come out and, and i kind of i'll bring up every so often regarding him is that he's good in long fights because especially like in guild war because guild war they don't always have a healer on defense right so that means that um oof crowd's taking a decent hit there um 
is there's no way to heal it, so every time he S3s, it's just permanent damage that's not going away. Um, because it can't heal. Let's hit you. So, as always, uh, it's common practice when you know, uh, um, a Charles is on Elbrus to hit anybody that's not Charles, because Charles... Oof, he's gonna die. Uh, and it's gonna be her turn, too. It's gonna be his tournament. Um, I was hoping I could save the revive, but uh, I might have to just burn it here. Uh, I know it's, it's yeah, it's kind of annoying because I also have the um, um, we'll have to let's heal her. Oh, this is bad. Not a very good situation to be in. Um, yeah, I was like, if he could survive one more turn, I could have S two'd him, and then saved the S three for like herself or something. But um, might as well use it for what it's meant to be, which is a revive. Uh, let's hit you. Okay, and we got the Albrus, so that's good. Because he's invulnerable right now, and he's gonna strip this, but that's fine because my turn was already over. Oh, I guess he didn't strip it. Okay, so now hopefully she can survive. Okay, I drew fire away from her with that. So let's, uh, basically this should kill basically everybody from here on out. Uh, max stacks, um, perfect. Yep, just as planned. Uh, so there you go, that's how you deal with, uh, how you deal with that. Uh, one of the things I like about Crow, ML Crow into the, the, um, a Tempest Surin, is the idea that like, his S3 will only do like 5k damage on turn 1, right? But you can't really go over 5k damage on her anyway, on the on the Tempest Cern anyway, right? Because she has a, her passive doesn't let her take more than 50% of her HP as, ma as damage, right? Which most people don't really build her past, um, don't really build her past the um, like 10,000 HP mark. Or they try not to, right? They don't want that much HP. So basically I S turn 1 and I do as much damage on her as I possibly can anyway. And then turn two, or the next time it comes up again, I'm hitting her for the second half of her HP bar, though, depending on how she heals and what the team is compi comprised of, it goes up again. But no matter what, basically, most of the time, when you're hitting her with Crow, you're doing as much damage as you can anyway, right? You're not worrying about, like, oh, you know, you can't, like, watch her Shuri her, or you can't, like, you know, you fiend her, or something like that, because, obviously, it doesn't work. Uh, hopefully, we give this, well, I guess, I guess we give the uh, alley-oop there to someone else. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I've been liking against her is that you get the maximum amount of damage you can on her with him, uh, and then you capitalize on the fact that she's going to take a lot of S2 turns. Uh, your immunity helps out because, you know, it's immunity, of course. Uh, yeah, and just in general, it's like, she's very weak to him. Um, so that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, for those of you who, uh do watch the fire emblem stuff i have a video i had a video on zane that came out recently um i'm gonna have to do a follow-up video because uh, i've been talking to some people in the comments and, and looking at other videos that have come out and uh there's been some good points regarding like how um what, what's in that video and and you know yeah just there's been stuff in that video that's like okay yeah i need to uh i need to fix that um this one looks kind of like the other one but a little bit easier i think hopefully Hopefully these two have enough effect resistance to deal with her debuffs, and then I can keep immunity up on him, and then, you know, just basically hurt them consistently. Uh, though... Yeah, I actually don't know what my, what my artifact is <laughs> on uh, Ruel. I keep switching it out. Uh, which is not something you really generally want to use, want to do, is, is not, like, switch out your artifacts on people. You want to, like, Especially like if you're experimenting, you want to keep it. Uh, you want to keep it on them a decent amount of time, right? It's kind of like how can you say that it's not working if you're you're muddying up your like analysis of the of of her performance by constantly changing it? So uh, she's got this, which is kind of what I wanted on her, but she didn't proc it. It didn't seem like she proc it a whole lot last game, which um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. So do I really want this? Because such a recos is pretty good on her too. Um. Just means that she can heal when it's not her turn, and she it, now she has an AOE heal, which is actually pretty hefty. Eight percent is nothing to sneeze at. Um, 
This is doing 12%. Aqua Rose. She's probably going to get hit by him a lot and her decent amount, so I think Aqua Rose would be best on her. Uh, up here, I'm just going to go with this and see uh, see what comes of it. The biggest problem, right, is up top, if uh, K-Ron goes for Vildred right off the bat, we're kind of in trouble. Um, but it's, he's not going first, so... Basically, this is decent. So if he hits K uh, uh, um, Vildry right off the bat, turn one, uh, that means, yeah, he will because she's going to hit him. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter, right? So he'll take his turn, AoE uh, for the S3. He'll S3 him, kill him, and then he'll come back and then S3 again. Uh, but he's probably going to die after that. So, yeah. Actually, that wasn't thought all the way through, but that's fine. Um, yeah, let's, I don't know. She probably has too much effect resistance for this to work. Wow. Perfect. Uh, so now she's not hitting uh, Vildred, which is uh, unbelievably perfect because... Oof. Okay, so he has a defense break. Um, let's just give this... Get this up here. So he's going to kill him, which is fine, because he'll come back and then just kill the other two. So he's going to kill the other two, but he's I'm going to lose Arbiter here to Kron because it's his passive. His revive is going to come back up again. Or his, his revive is not going to go away here. Um, actually, no. If I... Let's see. Yeah, if my A Momo was looking like she is... Perfect. Uh, outpaces him, I can do this, right? So I can heal him. And now Kron is going after uh, that guy over there, so perfect. Uh, and then this is worthless here. A lot of damage. So, oh, oh, he didn't S three for some reason. That's kind of weird. And now he's dead. I thought he was supposed to. I thought his his passive refreshes us. I don't know. Probably just an idiot. Um. So this is perfect. Let's get this going. The main problem I foresee here is him doing too much damage because he's not the same as uh, he he is not the same as what's her name as uh, Tempest Surin. So his damage output is is significantly higher than hers. Which can be a good thing and a bad thing, right? So it can be a good thing in the sense that, like, um, I can get enough damage onto Crow early enough that uh, Crow can S3 Charles uh, and then actually kill him. So let's kind of look at what, what this Charles is running here. Uh, so that did no damage. Uh, I don't know what that... Wow, I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. I guess this is kind of what happens when you look at... When you <laughs> attack, like, uh, the side forts and not main forts, it's like... Uh, the jobber core is down here, I guess. That's just kind of weird how little damage anybody here is doing. Let's see what kind of damage this puts up. Ah, it's not too bad. It's not very good, but it's not too bad either. Let's just hit you. Oh, I, of course, I got the counter. So that's one, two, S2. I met a Charles today. I don't remember where I met him, but the Charles, like... He kept uh, S. He kept S one countering, but he didn't get the S two proc off for some reason, which was kind of weird to me. Uh, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna have to heal herself with her S two. Uh, Charles is going to S one my crow, which is all right. Oh, he S two him. Okay, so never mind. This is this is actually better. Oh my gosh, he should have died there. That's so stupid. Uh, the question here. Is do I kill Charles? And I think the answer is yes. Um, Charles only has like eight thousand HP, so it's not that big a deal. But I think, yeah, I think it just should just kill him anyway. Because um, if anything bad is going to happen, it's because it's going to be off the back of Charles. Wow, he actually lapped everybody there. Um. Oh, whoops, forgot about that. 
so I think uh, he didn't die. That is uh, some next level stuff right there. <laughs> Damn, Crow, <laughs> die, please! Holy shit, Crow, the immortal, apparently. Um, that's actually pretty crazy that he survived that. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so now he's dead. So we basically won. All right, cool. So we're we're two for two so far. Um, which is, I'm pretty happy about. Twenty thousand HP uh, MLCC. She wasn't even that fast either. I'm not sure what the build is on her. Maybe they took gear off of her. I'm, you know, I'm basically it's. it's uh, what's the word? It's like. Needless to say, I'm befuddled <laughs> by the situation going on here. Um, yeah, very strange. I'm actually getting really, really tempted to run ML Crow on. Uh, Ran Ranon Ranon Ranon's memorandum. Ronin Ranon's memorandum. I forgot, I forgot what how the, it's actually spelled here. Maybe it's Renon. Let's go look at uh, common. Uh, it's a three star here. It's a book. It's actually bothering bothering me a little bit that I don't know how to say it. Um, okay. Yeah, Ranon's memorandum. I'm actually kind of thinking about running this on him just because like. The speed gains are pretty insane because at max at 10 stacks you're looking at what uh this goes up to three percent i think yeah three percent no two percent there we go it goes up to two percent that's 20 percent speed on top of the speed buff he gets is is uh 30 percent that's like 50 percent speed buff once it, well once that's fully stacked but uh it could be it can be a, a pretty overwhelming amount of speed uh that combined with like uh what's her name the uh like i mentioned last time the uh uh, regular Arcades reducing his cooldown and him taking like a bunch of turns sounds pretty fun, but uh, I think it's more win more, right? It's more like it'll help you do what you're already doing better. Um, let's let's kind of push one of these over a little bit here, get it close for the next guy. I like this bottom one here. I want to bring Crow down here, and I also want to bring Crow up here. Let's go see what the other one looks like. Oh, not that one. Let's see what this one looks like. I actually don't know what I'm what to do here. Let's see, maybe I should run you up here. that and then down here how's that look this is kind of stupid but how's that look that kind of looks like fun um Yeah. The problem is I kind of want to put uh, him down here. To bait her and like his AOEs are going to hit him, so it's going to be very useful. But I think the I think I need the damage reduction from him on her. Uh, let's just get in there. Uh, I like I like these teams regardless. Let's see what we're looking at with the dizzy. Who's going first here? Of course him. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. Okay, so there's that. She's gonna AOE here, but what I'm gonna do with the hopefully he doesn't she doesn't get like stunned or something. Let's see what kind of what kind of dizzy we're looking at. This looks like a basically just a, your average high speed dizzy, unless. Okay, so let's hit everybody with this. So what, what the thing is here, this can't crit, so hopefully I won't get. Um, yeah, he didn't he didn't attack me. So the point the plan was to do this. Now he's fully uh, healed, uh, and the damage, the only person who's taken damage theoretically here is him, and he should take more damage when I do this. Uh, and I miss, but he, didn't, he, did, he also didn't counter. Uh, perfect, so that's kind of what I wanted, so I want this to happen. Uh, let's heal these up. 
Uh, hopefully, ah, uh, he's fully healed. Oops. Let's kill you. I want the you want the dizzy to stay there because dizzy will uh, AOE you. Okay. Okay. Is it you? Okay, I missed. Is it you? Uh, let's see you. I want to sleep him. That's they're perfect. <sighs> I would have gotten slept there. <laughs> uh. Dizzy's, <laughs> as you can tell, Dizzy's uh annoying. Well, that's gonna suck. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Dizzy's uh, stun on her S1 is, as you can see, pretty irritating. Just hit everybody with her. Uh, one of the main problems is that right now, um, Char uh, Ken is doing a lot of damage and he's healing a lot because of the attack buff. Um, as soon as that's gone, his healing should be reduced quite a bit and I keep getting crits for some reason. Um, you don't have any crit chance, right? So don't crit. Of course I crit. He's gonna take way more damage because he's got less defense than uh, he does. Let's heal you up so he targets the G perg. Okay, can you not crit? Please, thank you. Okay, so now that this uh, attack buff is gone, we should have an easier time of taking him down. Uh, and unless we keep critting like that. Uh, let's do this. Let's see if we crit him. Of course we do. Uh, so this is kind of what's concerning is that we might uh, not have enough damage to like kill him in time. Uh, let's do, let's put you to sleep, hopefully. But we didn't get the crit, so that's good. Let's see if we can stun him. Well, this isn't going to help because his turn is next. Oh, we just killed him. That's fine. Uh, and that, that right there, you can see, is the health scaling on his S3 coming in handy. Um, a lot of people said that wasn't going to do very much. And it kind of isn't because nobody builds him as like a bruiser or anything like that, which is really the main uh, thing you build someone like that for. Um, but, like, with health scaling. But it's fine because, wow, that did, like, literally no damage. That is kind of sad. Um... Don't know what's up with that. Uh, let's just hit you. Try to trigger your passive as soon as possible. Uh, so they're going to focus her. I just realized I'm kind of an idiot. Um, let's just stun you. Okay, cool. Let's uh, knock you back here. So we need to get rid of the first biggest damage potential, which is going to be Kron. Uh, the second damage potential being uh, Krow, because he can S3 basically uh, ruin our day. Okay, so that didn't trigger it yet. Um, and her, we can just ignore her until um, set time where it's useful to hit her. Uh, let us see if we can stun this... Or, uh, taunt lock this crowd here okay uh, let's not get hasty let's just heal her um, and then crowd can just like hit her and she'll die and he'll die or hit uh, him and he'll die uh, now we want to hit you let's see who we get the secondary attack on Crow, okay. Uh, then we'll just do this on you. Um, so his crow should S3 my crow, theoretically. Um, let's not do more damage to that crow. Maybe we can survive. So we're taking 1400. Hopefully my crow has enough HP left in the tank there to take a 1400 hit. And perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. So now we can S3 their crow. To you. So she has Caladra, so she'll be doing way more damage. Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, actually, I'm just going to hit you. 
because uh, she looks pretty irritating. Unfortunately, uh, this is probably a bad idea because, um, yeah. So that, there's that. Uh, let's hit you again. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I should have waited. Fortunately, she's hitting him. She's hitting her, and not the other one. Uh, let's just get this off right now. Okay, and then we get the. Now we get the attack boosted, and basically it's over. Should be anyway. Um. Perfect. Uh, and there you go. That's kind of how you deal with that. Uh, the problem with that team was there was too much uh, single target on your on the team. Uh, you don't really want that. Because S10A just uh, gobbles teams up like that. Uh, what else? I guess, uh, I mean, this video is already 40 minutes, so um, there's no reason to just kind of talk afterwards. Uh, but in terms of like, I guess the one thing I want to mention is my S Tenebria has been doing pretty well, but I'm, I'm kind of like getting a little, uh, what's the word? Just just kind of like not very satisfied with her with her stats right now. Like she doesn't deal enough damage, which, you know, it's, it's all right that she doesn't, but of course you want a little more damage and obviously you want more effectiveness, even though she seems to land a lot of stuff on a lot of different people constantly. Um... I might consider boosting this boot. Obviously, as you can see here, this is a really bad boot to, to be uh, reforging. Um, but I could use the 5 speed and the health, defense, and attack are all very useful to me, especially on her, um, just to give her more survivability. Unfortunately, I'm only getting one crit chance on a 3%, which is just horrendous. So I'm only getting 83% crit chance, but it is what it is. I mean, the, yeah, that's the main kind of problem I have with her. Is like she, she usually does enough damage. Um, but you want to do more than enough damage because there'll be a day where enough damage is not enough. You need a little bit more. Um, and we're, we're kind of getting close to that day where it's like, oh, her damage is, is not where it should be. But, uh, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's kind of interesting because this is kind of like, basically like I have one, two, three, 90 pieces and I'm only barely pushing stats that were possible back when like before 90 reforging was possible. Right. It's basically what I want to say is, is my point here is. You can see these stats and like, oh, the stats look pretty decent. It's like, well, they looked decent back then. Today, they're not very decent. Like, I, I don't, you know, there are way more impressive Tenebrias out there with like, you know, all 90 gear. Um, and mine has, like I said, half of my gear is 90 and I'm barely hitting stats that were already possible back in the back in the pre-90 days, right? Um, so it's kind of sad to, to consider, but that's something that's important to, to realize here. Uh, this, this, and maybe this. This is actually pretty good. 15 speed is not bad. Um... But these two need to be replaced uh, badly. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to mention was this is fully fully molded because the poison stacks are, are actually actually you know pretty important for one like PVE content and stuff like that like Abyss. Now that we have to go back in there, um, but it's also because it's her main damage dealing tool. It cleaves, and you can soul burn it to do it multiple times. So you basically want this to be fully maxed. Uh, of course, this is your passive. You want this to be fully maxed so that um, she has her most impact. Um, and you know, you kind of stress them out by knowing that the stacks are building you can, you know, um, and then lastly, the, one of the biggest problems with her right now is her S3 does not do enough damage. It always just barely does like, like it's a 50, 50 on whether or not I can actually execute someone with this, uh, because I'm missing what 25% whole damage here. Uh, so that's something to consider. Uh, yeah. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm missing molas. I'm not going to give her any more molas until, uh, I get her friendship maxed, uh, in which case it'll give me three free molas. She's like she's very close. She's at nine, so I'm almost there. I just need to farm a little more. Uh, it'll give me three, so I can do this and this, and then I'll basically invest the eight molas into her um, after that. So and then she'll be maxed, which is basically perfect. Um, who else? I guess there's not a whole lot else right now. Um, my arbiter Vildred, for anybody who wants to see, uh, he's obviously uh, maxed S1, S2. The S3 is not maxed, but I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to use the, the free molas they give you. Uh, 4200 attack, uh, 311 crit damage, and some decent speed. This is not, this isn't slow, but it isn't fast. Uh, you want to be hitting, basically you want to be hitting the stats I have now with like 220 speed. And then there you go, you have a real uh, Arbiter Buildred. But uh, fortunately I'm missing quite a bit here and there. So like, this is miss, oh no, that's good, that's a good piece, that's a decent piece. It's not very good, but it's decent. This is missing speed. I could be, I could have like 10 speed on this, which puts me up to 185, and this could have like 10 speed on it, which is 195. And if one of these has like 15 speed, right, 
uh, that's like 200 speed, and that's already pretty decent, right? We're we're looking at pretty solid um, numbers at at that much speed at, at 200. Like 200 speed with these stats is pretty good. Uh, I th I think anyway. Uh, then of course, like this can roll better, right? Like it rolled into effective resistance twice, which is basically a worthless stat on him. So like I could have had two more rolls into attack percentage and then had higher rolls. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, uh, it just depends on, on what your your gear is. And then obviously this isn't maxed out because again, like I, like I mentioned last time, like don't don't sleep on these stats. These stats, they give you a decent chunk. Um, and then ultimately again, uh, we're we're look we're we're talking we're thinking about uh, the the self imprint of attack percentage. So when you see like arbiters with like you know four thousand attack and two twenty speed, it's it's because these things add up, right? So every little bit of speed counts. Like the fact that I'm leaking so much speed or so much attack percentage here, like they can run in a, they can run a, a speed boot. I'm running an attack boot, right? But they can run a speed boot, which if I put a speed boot uh, if I put a speed boot on him, he'll hit two twenty speed, but I'll be hitting like thirty eight hundred attack, something like that. Um, and that, the, that's kind of a problem, right? Because that's actually pretty low. But like I said, like I mentioned earlier, that like you know, four thousand to four thousand two hundred attack comes from you know a, a maxed Alexa's basket, right? Uh, you know, not leaking so much attack percentage here, right? Maybe one of these pieces has attack percentage and um, a, a flat attack, like attack percentage here and a flat attack down here. Uh, and then, like you know, they probably got max uh, max imprint. So when you look at those arbiters that are two twenty speed and still have decent attack with like a decent amount of crit damage, um, it's important to realize that like a lot of the like because they don't show you this right. They'll look at this and sometimes they won't click on this and you can't really see. It's like oh, what's their imprint? Uh, but a max imprint that's eighteen percent extra. Um, that's eighteen percent extra attack, which on him because his base attack is fourteen hundred. That's actually quite a lot. Like it's better on him than most people. Like any little bit of extra flat attack is better on him than most people. Um, but yeah, like this one here, like if I had rolled slightly better on this, this would be like a lot better, like, you know, breaking 30 crit damage would be great, but, uh, it wasn't meant to be, unfortunately. Um, and this is kind of the best sword I have. Like I got too much attack percentage here. I really needed this to be, um, or too much health percentage. I really needed this to be more attack percentage, right? So you can see immediately right away, looking at all this gear where you're leaking stats, um, right? Uh, but yeah, so you know, take a look at your arbiter. If if you know, just just realize that it's like it'll take time to get him where he needs to be. Um, I just kind of assume a lot of us have him just because he came out in the uh, mystic rotation, and most of us pulled for him. I think uh, the last unit I guess somebody might want to see would be I guess Crow, considering uh, how much he's done. I showed him in the last one, and I'll probably just keep showing him um, in most videos. Uh, so this is my Crow, 25k HP, 210 speed. Like I said, he's he's kind of slow. I, I mentioned when he first came out, at the very least, you want 220 speed. And, and the more I'm using him, the more I'm realizing that that is a, a speed goal you really need to hit. Um, because a lot of times, lower end Cecilias are running at 220 speed, and they'll outspeed you, and then put up their skill nullifier before he goes, and then he just basically hits for nothing. And you have to use that S3, because a lot of times you're counting on the immunity, as well as you're counting on the... I mean, as well as you just need that to be on cooldown, so you can... Um, so you can hit harder next time, right? Because you got to build up the stack. So unfortunately, you're kind of forced to S3 anyway, uh, even if they do have the skill nullifier up. Uh, of course, you can choose not to, uh, and then go forward from there, which uh, it's fine, right? It's not like you know losing one turn is not the the end of the world, uh, but you really want that to be on cooldown as fast as possible, right? Because and there's not, it's not only that, but you want to go before the FCC. So not only do you get to get your S3 off and get the damage through uh, beyond the, the the skill nullifier. You also want it to be so that now it's on cooldown, so that when she S3s, she's reducing your cooldown by another turn because she S3'd. Um, so yeah, just keep in mind how the meta's shifting. And I, I feel like people are going to start building slightly faster Fallen CCs uh, to compete with, um, you know, Last Rider Crow. Uh, especially because if you, if you keep it, well, depending on how the, the turns end up going, like, you could possibly end up, like, having your, your CC S3 up. Like almost every time Crow has his S3 up, so basically you're nullifying Crow at that point to a large degree. Uh, fortunately, Crow still has um, immunity buff and a speed buff, and he still has he can still hold night artifacts, which is why I, I like Adamant Shield on him so much because uh, he's always useful no matter what. And then he's also giving himself barriers, right? So uh, that's good. And this is you know one thing to consider. I don't have max barrier here. Uh, I'm missing 15%, which is actually a huge amount of barrier to be missing. Uh, but I refuse to give him any more molas until I get his friendship all the way maxed. Um, because there's no way I'm putting molas into this. This is a waste of molas. Uh, this is just for like flexing on people that you did it. 
Um, so I'm not really, <laughs> I don't really care. Because uh, this S1 damage is, is garbage, and you're never going to be critting, or you shouldn't be critting unless you're fighting Ken, in which case you're going to crit all the time. But you shouldn't really be critting because, you know, you're not building any crit. Uh, this is kind of like, these are what noob stats look like, right? These are like what what people at, my, at our level can reach. We can reach this, right? And this is fine at higher end, right? But at higher end, it af like all the you know, all the money and all the time people spend on this game at the higher end, it affords you doesn't afford you better stats, right? They're they're are gonna look like this too, right? Similar, they're probably gonna have like two forty speed, right? Something like that. Uh, but at their end, at their higher end, it's not necessarily these stats that are gonna improve. It's this stat right here. They can afford to go more effect resistance because they've rolled so much high health, high speed, and high like everything he needs on the other stats. That they'll have a lot left over to be like, okay, well, I don't need to run flat health and health percentage on this. I'm going to have the full health percentage, and then I'm going to run uh, a high uh, su a high effect resistance sub, and then you got a bunch of effect resistance subs. And basically, you're hitting, you know, decently high effect resistance, because that's really what you want. And a lot of, when you look at a lot of uh, higher end units, like Alencia's, let's go look at Alencia real quick. This is my, I love Alencia. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to notice considering uh, the garbage gear she has on, right? But... Uh, yeah, she's she's just great. Um, but the point I want to make here is that like when you look at Alencia's, like this is kind of what they end up looking like. Maybe a little higher attack, maybe two thousand attack, maybe thirteen, fourteen, fifteen k h uh, defense. But like twenty two k h p is what you usually end up seeing, right? Uh, around two hundred speed, one ninety, one ninety five, maybe two ten at the high end. Um, and those things kind of vary from person to person. But on average, this is what they look like, right? On average, you're looking at eighteen hundred attack. On average, you're looking at about maybe thirteen hundred defense. On average, you're looking at 22k HP. On average, maybe 200 speed. Um, and then, you know, high high uh, crit chance and high crit damage. Like, around this is fine. But what they're afforded is uh, better effectiveness stats, right? They have better effectiveness and they have better effect resistance on her. They're, I mean, we're not talking like, you know, they're running all those stats plus 150 effect resistance. No, not really. But 50 effect resistance is nothing to sneeze at. Um, it can be the difference between you know winning and losing, right? It's a coin flip. It turns certain abilities into coin flips, right? If they're not running enough effect effectiveness on their units, uh, that's just something I want to point out. Is that like you when you're building your units, you can reach a lot of these stats that like the higher end legend players can reach. Like you know, a lot of people are running 25. I had mine before, but I took a lot of that gear for ML Crow. But mine was at 25k HP, um, 200 something speed, which is generally what they had. A lot of times they're pushing 220 speed. Um, but yeah, like they had like a hundred effect resistance, right? That's kind of, you know, there you go. You can see where it, it's what separates, you know, their stats from our stats is that you look at their gear and it's like, it's not necessarily that they have, oh man, they've got a 3000 HP crowd and they still have like, you know, 220 speed and all these other stats. No, it's, it's, it's that they'll have similar stats to you, but they can, they're afforded more luxuries. Like maybe they want crit chance on their crowd. There you go. There's some more crit chance. Maybe they want... 100 effect resistance there you go 100 effect resistance and maybe you know like 50 effectiveness right so they're afforded you know more luxury stats where us down here we're barely scrounging to get to reach the the hp caps the the speed caps and and basically everything else, like like crit chance on, on regular units right so like i don't know i guess anybody oh man i can't like i, I forgot what i was playing i was playing an arena match and she stunned like constantly this 35 percent is a lie <laughs> it's like it's more like 100 percent um or maybe like 85 but basically, that's kind of my point, is that um, a lot of people's gear, they kind of want to hit similar thresholds as to what you can what you can hit and what other people can hit. They just afforded more luxury stats, like effectiveness and like effect resistance. Um, so that's something to consider. But anyway, yeah, like I said, um, yeah, not much more to say than that. Uh, a lot of people, I mean, this is one of the few, the few units where it's like you see that a lot where it's like, they have like 25k HP maybe and like, you know, 18k uh, defense and then they actually have like the 200, 200 effect resistance or 250 effect resistance Momos uh, with like 200 speed or something like that. Uh, my Momo is actually becoming like so incredibly useful that I really do need to, um, I really do need to give her uh, better gear. I need to start working on, on getting her better gear. Like she's already got some decent pieces. 30% uh, defense on this is not too bad. Like, it just basically has everything she needs except for this flat attack, which is idiotic, but it is what it is. Like, especially because, like, you can see here she could use more speed, and I got that instead of speed, so. She, unfortunately, she's going to stick with this helmet for a while. Um, I'll, I'd like to replace it as soon as possible, though, of course. Um, so you can see here, this is kind of crap as well. Uh, six speed, good effect resistance, and, and like, kind of decent health, but, like, the attack is obviously pretty bad. Um, thirty-six percent health is. I mean, I'm probably just gonna stick with this on her because that's a lot of health to be giving up. But yeah, there's that. 
Uh, this one kind of sucks. Uh, I could boost it, I guess, get 10% health, 10% uh, uh, defense, uh, one more speed, and it would be 190. It kind of bothers me that it's 180, but you know, 5% more HP and all that stuff. Um, and then this, of course, I can't boost this, but you know, 60, 60 health with 22% effect resistance and 11 speed is kind of hard to pass up. Um, and then this boot is kind of all over the place. It's not like the worst, but it's kind of like, eh. Uh, but I boosted it because I, I needed it at the time. And of course, this could be uh, more. This could be higher leveled if I had more. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it. That's you know the main units I use this time around. Um, you know, like I said, good luck uh, with your guild wars. Trying to get, trying not to get jobbed and uh, take care.